hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel it has been oh my goodness a hot second since i have sat down and talked to you guys filmed just sitting here having a sit down conversation and i'm so ready for it i used to i used to make these all the time but i absolutely love vlogging and i know that you guys love vlogging so i try to make those videos but i just wanted to sit down like no multiple different things in one video I just want to sit down talk to you guys have a legit conversation kind of sort of sort of and just show you guys what's up talk to you guys update live what's up so i'm not looking the cutest right now but that's okay i did wash my hair yesterday and when you have extensions you have to put them in braids when you sleep at night so i had my hair in two braids and it's just super kind of got a weird wave in it but <coughs> we're working with it i'm here i just really wanted to catch up with you guys i wanted to share a couple things that i've picked up over the past few weeks that i myself have not put away a lot of what i do is i'm so busy all the time doing just so many different things and different areas of my life that I just go shopping and I come home and I put the bag up here and don't touch it for a week and that's what happened with most of this stuff so it's kind of a haul video slash talk to you guys so update on life I know you guys have seen my recent videos but if you don't know I've been traveling a lot I went to uh, Breckenridge Colorado Denver Colorado essentially with the balance athletica team in the beginning of February we had the balance launch at the end of February I've been working at the hospital with 12 hour shifts I went to New York with my friends uh, the weekend of Valentine's Day and then after that it's kind of been me being at home but I've been working a lot so just a lot going on and I'm trying to keep up with social media and YouTube and you know do other parts of my job that includes the entrepreneur side and I just it's been a lot to keep up with but I absolutely love what I do I truthfully love what I do I do so many different things but I love interacting I love my patients I love you know just everything it just can be a lot sometimes I turn 24 next month I'm going to Mexico with my mom in next Sunday so Sunday the 15th we leave for Riviera Maya lots of stuff going on so I wanted to share some of the things that I have picked up recently and just kind of show you guys because it's just fun stuff but also wanted to touch on how I've been feeling with nursing lately because that's obviously a big part of what I share with you guys and show and I just thought I would give a little update maybe kind of comparison to last year during this time when I had just started my job. Uh, so as you guys know I am a year in. I was a year in on February 11th so that's so stinking cool to say. I can't believe that it's been a year. I truthfully can't believe that at all. I feel like I just started. I, I went to a CPI training today which was basically how to physically um, avoid getting injured with patients or anybody honestly anybody who's agitated uh, just different techniques that you can get out of if somebody grabs your wrist you know what you're supposed to do if somebody grabs your neck tries to choke you if somebody bites you if somebody is uh, basically lots of different ways to get out of physical uh, situations so we did that today and I feel like I just did that but it was a year ago it's crazy anyways more of my story I have just been feeling Finally, and I know, and I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent always, but I just feel like things have shifted for me a lot with nursing in the past few months. I just feel so much more comfortable with what I'm doing. I finally feel where I'm at a place where I understand what's going on, not all the time at all, but I understand what's going on a lot of times with my patients and what is expected of me. And I just thought I would share that with you guys that it's gotten so much better for me over the span of a year. And I feel I'm not 100% there and I never will be, but I do feel like it's taken me a long time to get to the point where I just feel you know, I can handle anything that's coming at me and I felt that way for a while, but it's a different vibe now. It's just, I feel like happier, if that makes sense. I just feel, I feel confident. I feel like, you know, I know my resources. I know what I need to do. So basically anything that is thrown at me, I can deal with it. Uh, and that's a really good feeling in nursing. So I am still a baby nurse. I don't know everything, but I just thought I would share that it does get better. So if you are somebody who is feeling how I felt a year ago, which was really scared and just anxious a lot, uh, and I still do get anxious, believe me, that's just something I deal with on a daily basis. But if you are somebody who is feeling like that, just know that it does get better with time. So that's where I'm at with nursing, but let's go ahead and jump into some of the things that I have. This isn't really a favorites video, but I kind of thought in my mind, let's make this a favorites video, but I honestly could do an Amazon favorites video. That's something highly requested, so let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see that. Um, Amazon things that I, I literally shop on Amazon every day, just dumb shit. But 
I have that and then I have I'm gonna film actually next week I have a really cool collab coming for my spring break vacation is a clothing haul basically that's really cool you guys will like that and then I thought about doing a food favorites video again let me know if you guys are interested because I have lots of new favorite things I have some of my favorite things right now but yeah, so we'll just go ahead and jump in. First thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, these Birkenstocks that I got. I got these at Shields a couple weeks ago with my mom. I, I've i had a lot of questions actually about shoes that are comfortable. Um, and people always ask me for work what's comfortable. But I I wear Adidas pretty much all the time. So that's my answer to you is I wear NMDs. But I think I'm about to switch over to the Swift Runs. Because I that should be in this video. I have three pairs of those and I just ordered a fourth. They're the Cheetah ones. Those are my favorite work shoes if you're ever curious about what I wear at work. I love Adidas NMDs or Swift Runs. So that's what I wear. But Birkenstocks outside of work, I have loved my Birks. I have two pairs of Birks or one. I have one. I think I have one pair of Birkenstocks. But I wanted the white ones really bad for vacation. So I did pick them up. They are a little bit of an investment. Not really. I think these were $105. I mean, but that's, I mean, that's hundred dollars for a shoe um for a sandal that you know you could pay twenty dollars but i really 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 highly recommend burks if you have thought about it before i definitely love them they're so comfortable they fit to your foot you know you're able to kind of fit them in. they your foot molds into the shoe which is my favorite part so i picked those up in white those will be really really good for years to come i've had the birkenstocks i have right now since i was in college so really excited about those the next thing that I did, I went to Old Navy, and Old Navy is a banger, you guys. I really feel that Old Navy has hidden gems that people just don't find, and that's kind of what I found on this day. I was going with my friend. She was getting a dress for her engagement photos, and I was in the checkout line, and I wear no-show socks all the time. I have a favorite brand from TJ Maxx. I think I had it in a previous haul video, but I found these, the athletic no-show socks. One of them's athletic, I guess, but... I thought that they were so stinking cute. These ones have um, this like a pink. Well, I guess that's not. You can't even tell that they're cute. Hang on. These ones they have a little bit of a rainbow on them. These ones have stripes. And then these ones have like a little sunshine on them. They're no-shows. I just thought that those were super cute. They were inexpensive. And then I also got these athletic ones. I guess they're classified as athletics. Um, but... I just thought that they would be super good for work. I wear no-shows with my shoes all the time. Athletic shoes and work shoes. So grabbed those. Those were really inexpensive in the checkout aisle. And then I also got this cute little beach pouch, which I have a quadrillion pouches, but girl, you can never have enough pouches. So this is perfect for, I think this was like $5, $12. I did not pay $12 for that, did I? Perfect for your sunscreen, stuff like that to go in it. It's waterproof is my assumption with the way that it feels. So I picked that up for Mexico coming up. So those are a couple old Navy finds I thought were fun to share. Next thing, kind of jumping around. I went to, Dry Goods is kind of the bigger haul. So I'll save that for last. I have a few things from Aerie in here that I wanted to show you guys. American Eagle and Aerie. I got a few pairs of shorts that I think are my new favorite shorts. If you guys remember last year, and I'll insert a picture here of what I'm talking about, not necessarily linen, but more of a comfortable kind of short. So these are very similar to that. They're very lightweight. It's not a denim short by any means, but it's also not, you know, super see-through by any means. These are where at Aerie, and I tried on one pair, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need 10 pairs of these. For real. Like this. I don't know what these are called. Let's see if it says... It does not say but I will have everything linked below but they're these linen I think people call these paper bag shorts maybe but they're so cute they have one little pocket on the butt um I might try them on for you guys and show you in the video but I just thought that they were so cute I probably won't I'm not gonna lie I got them in a large <laughs> but I just like I have really thick thighs so anything that doesn't grip to my leg like a jean short is just fantastic and that doesn't make my waist look huge I'm here for it so I got these and I got this light brown khaki color khaki goes with everything I felt those and it has a little you can and you can dress these up or down to throw a graphic tee with them or you know a bodysuit something cute like that so I did get three pairs of those I got them all in larges I believe because the mediums were just they worked but I definitely wanted them a little bit more comfier looser fit so that I wasn't 
feeling super tucked into the short. For a few things I got from AE and then I also picked up this tank top from Mexico and this is super cute. This is kind of in right now are these really really skinny like tank tops. I have this in the purple color. I would have got it in a burgundy reddish color too but they didn't have that. I got this in a medium. Super cute. Pair it with, you could pair it with any of those shorts, like the khaki ones, that'd be really cute together. Also from Aerie is this swimsuit bottom. I thought that this was so flattering, I want to say. I don't want to say cute to everything. I'm sorry if I do, but this looked super flattering and it really is. It gives you the perfect cheeky look on the butt, but it doesn't make you look like your butt cheeks are hanging out. Same with the front. I just really, really enjoyed that. It is just a high-waisted suit, high-waisted for life, never going back. If you see me in a low-waisted suit... I must really like it because high-waisted is the way to go for me these days. This is a medium. This is from Aerie. This is just their standard high cut. It's high cut cheeky is the different, is the specific cut of it. But it's so flattering on. I'll show you guys when I'm in Mexico, but so, so nice. We'll talk a little bit about Target. I got this super cute little sleep shirt. I thought it was a sweatshirt, but it's not. I think I was looking at the sweatshirt, but I decided against it because I got the tie-dye sweatshirt. This is just a cute little cheetah shirt for sleeping. I thought it was super cute. I love this Colsey brand. This Colsey brand is absolutely amazing. So I picked this up in the cheetah color. thought that that was cute. Looked good with a tan. When I'm tan, it was only 13 bucks. Their stuff's really affordable, I feel like, in that section. They have hidden gems in there. I have a tie-dye shirt. I'll actually insert that Instagram picture right here where I'm wearing the tie-dye shirt from the sleep section at Target, and I'm pretty sure it's 12 bucks too. So there's that from Target. These wedgies are so darling. Love this print. I actually have, where's it at? Sitting. It was literally just sitting right here. It's a wallet that I love. It's from Target and it's this print. It's so pretty. I don't have very many wedges like this. In fact, I have very few heels wedges just because I've grown out of some of the ones that I had. So I picked these up for vacation. And also because I hate walking in heels, I have major issues and I walk like a clod hopping cow or horse or something that has a lot of girth when they walk girth so I don't wear them often but these were super comfortable and if you notice here they have a little stretch up here I have a very wide foot so I'll show you guys what my toe looks like in here so I wanted something that wasn't gonna squish my feet squish my foot but these are so cute I'm actually really happy I got these aren't they cute those are so cute it's like I'm talking to my dog it's pretty thick heel but whatever you know all right that's Target I have some scrunchies I actually have quite a few scrunchies in here these are from my friend Taylor she asked me to be in her wedding and Rochelle also asked me to be in her wedding that's another update I got asked to be in my first weddings I've never been in a wedding in my life never been in one I'm really excited I get to be in two one this year Rochelle's is in October Rochelle's oh my god I'm so dumb Rochelle's wedding is in August and Taylor's is in October of 2021 so that's a little gift from Taylor for her wedding. I'm really excited about that. So happy for them. Um, so yeah, then I will move on to Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, they, isn't this bag adorable? It says pink on the front, I think. Right there. Yeah. I had to get some grunders from Victoria's Secret because they were having, I think it was seven, seven for 29 panty deal. I'm here for the panty deals. So I grab, I grabbed seven. I don't really need to show you what my underwear looks like. That's weird, but I did get seven pairs of those. I'll probably literally keep all of those for vacation because who doesn't like clean underwear on vacation? I do. I found at Victoria's Secret, I don't shop here a ton anymore, but I always go there for underwear. I like some of their sleep stuff, but I don't really buy tons of their stuff anymore because I wear Balance Athletica for everything. But I saw that they had some really cute, fun graphic tees. This is an extra small heads up, so yeah, they run large. I never wear an extra small in anything. So I got this one. You guys know that I love band tees. If you watch my stuff or look at my Instagram feed, I'm almost always wearing some sort of graphic band tee. So I thought this Pink Floyd one was super fun. They had a bunch of different ones. My mom was looking at them and she's like, good God, these are all my bands. And then if you've been around for a while, you know that these are my favorite shorts of all time for spring, summer, fall. You can wear them almost all year long. And I actually wear these still even now. I've been wearing them the past few days 
days are the boyfriend shorts from Victoria's Secret. This is a must have for me. If you see them online, if you see them in store, I actually have a pair sitting right here that I took off the other day. These are a must have. They are the most comfortable shorts. They're not super short on you, like your booty's gonna be hanging out or anything. They're at a comfortable length for your thighs, in my opinion. I don't like things super short. So I love these, they're so comfy. They can be worn all the time. These are, I have, I get a medium in them and these are $34.95. So I grabbed this pair because I don't have this color. And then I got this bag for free. So that's why that's there. Next thing that I thought I would show you guys is a little dry goods haul if you've been around for a little bit. You know my favorite stores, stores to shop at are TJ Maxx, American Eagle, uh, Home Goods, all those places. So a lot of times I'll find really good spring and summer clothes at TJ Maxx, but I have not seen much there yet. So I'm hoping that soon they will get some good stuff. So my other favorite place is Dry Goods and their stuff can be a little bit pricier but not overwhelming at all. It's kind of like boutique prices in my opinion and it's good quality so that's why I pay what I pay for their stuff. A couple first things, these are accessory type things but I got these scrunchies. I thought that they looked really really thick and nice. I have a lot of hair. They look so soft. Look how soft that looks. So picked up those scrunchies and then I also grabbed this must have necklace. I have on my Bounce Athletic one right now, but I love simple necklaces like this. It's a little Iowa symbol, so I grabbed that. For the main attraction, the dry goods. So I went in here. Give me a second. I went in here looking for stuff for vacation, and I had success. I actually started trying stuff on and hated hated like half of it and I was getting very upset but after some time I found some things that it worked if you go into dry goods be weary of your bank account because they had a lot of cute stuff and I buy clothes if, I mean I shop a lot but I don't at the same time does that make sense I'm busy a lot but I when I shop I shop hard so work hard play hard you know what I'm saying so a few of these pieces are so essential and so perfect to add into your wardrobe year round and then some of them are very unique to season. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I grabbed this shirt right here. I loved this. This is the same brand and I got it in three colors because I just loved it so much. I will see if I can link any of the dry goods stuff. I don't think I can but I might be able to. We'll see. So this top right here, this material is so incredibly soft. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's just the perfect basic tank top that's like racer back. This was $19, so I got it in white. I got it in black. It's not cropped or anything like that. It kind of looks like it, but it's not. White, black, and I think green too, yeah. This was the color I tried on and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so pretty on with a cute, with like my balance necklace over it, the gold with this and some cute denim shorts. I just, I loved it. So grabbed three of those colors. All essential tank tops, things I'll wear year round over and over again. Thought that those were great. Next up, I'll show you guys these two pairs of shorts. These are almost similar, almost the exact same thing as the ones that I got at Aerie. So clearly you can tell that I'm a big fan of linen shorts. Linen trash bag pants, I don't know what they're called. So I grabbed these. This is a gray color and these were so flattering on. These were $42 and I also got a large in these because I'm a thick thigh gang. So tie it up right here <coughs> excuse me has a little bit of frill on the top and this is a really thick waistband so you can kind of adjust it in and it will flatter your waist so kind of snatches your waist in and they're high-waisted so that's why I really like those and next I got another pair of them they're very similar but they're a little bit more cutesy this brand is Thread and Supply. This brand is at TJ Maxx a lot, so just be aware of that. These were $44. They have a little bit of a fringe on the bottom, and I wasn't sure if I was going to love them, but I tried them on, and they were so cute. So this would be cute with any of those tanks I just showed with a long necklace, earrings, you know, wedgie sandals. I don't know where my wedgie sandals went, but so fun. A little frill on the bottom little different I don't have anything like that so I grabbed those moving on to tops and dresses actually this is a swimsuit top I picked this up they have one at Target similar but I don't love the Target one because it's a little bit tight on the arms you guys might know what I'm talking about when I show you but this swimsuit top I got in a small I don't have very big tatas so the small works but this right here will be super cute in Mexico my mom was telling me I'd get weird tan lines but 
I'm going for the cute factor and when I am actually laying out in the sun or if I'm doing something for a long period of time I'll just pull the sleeves off underneath and make it strapless so I don't get weird tan lines. That right there. Got the frillies. So comfortable. So cute on. And then next, this reminds me of Easter. I turned 24, April 16th. I don't know when Easter is, but I think that this will be so adorable. The way that they had this on the mannequin was so cute. I think they had it with a dress. They had this knotted over a dress. The way they did their knot was so cute. It was like a ball. I loved it. But this sweater screams Easter to me. It's super lightweight, so it's easy to be worn during the spring summertime. It's like a towel material I want to say hopefully you guys can see the texture to that but I loved the colors and I don't have anything like it so I grabbed that in a medium this was $44 so basically their prices are very very similar to basic clothing I feel spoiled when I shop at TJ Maxx because their prices are just so insanely good but every once in a while I do splurge for stuff like this at a place like dry goods next up is this cute top this brand is Mo. MOA MOA I don't know what that means but this is just a sweater type thing sweatshirt I really liked that it fitted on the bottom and it has these really really I don't know it was just super flattering on I liked it a lot and I like the color so I grabbed that and then a couple dresses I don't know if I'm gonna keep both of these I need to keep the receipt because I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep both but I have never I'm not kidding I have never found a dress that I have been obsessively in love with that is a t-shirt type dress this is what I'm talking about. It's just a straight t-shirt dress. It's, I mean, it's like a standard length, but I've never found one that looks good on my body. I normally look like a potato or a box, but this one from Dry Goods, I love. This is also thread in supply. I'll, show, I'll stand up and show you guys, but it is so cute on. It looks so good. I'm not going to lie. And if you're like me and you look like potato in most dresses, highly recommend checking this one out. So I got that in a medium. And then I also grabbed this one because she showed it to me and she's like, this one's also really cute. So I just actually bought this and it has uh, pockets in it, but I haven't tried it on. So I'll let you guys know what I think of this one, but I love camo. So I grabbed two of those dresses and that's everything from dry goods. I just, I love their stuff. I think it's quality so pretty so unique and different there isn't you know 90 of the same thing in there so i love shopping in there moving on a few these are all amazon the shoes i'm about to show you i'm gonna show you guys these headbands because i want to shout them out i love them so much but you guys know that i love hello headband i have worn their headband since i started my nursing job and they sent me their spring line these are so insanely pretty you guys look at these i love them we have cheetah we have a heart rate on this beautiful green this one's a nursing one hang on let me flip it nursing so pretty this one's a tie band at the top so so cute i actually had this on an ig stories today and people went nuts over it camo another really pretty print and then, of course, floral, their signature, and I wear these to work. I wear them to work all the time. I just, I love them, and they're completely worth it. So, wanted to shout them out with their headbands. From Amazon, I have found this stuff. Just by the way, this stuff has been collected over time. I didn't just go out and buy all of this in one day. This is all collected, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So, we'll start with my favorite shoe, I think, of 2020, athleisure wear-wise, are these black Adidas sandals. I love these. They have a little strap right here and you take it off and you just slide your foot in. Your foot slides right in. They're so comfortable. I mean so comfortable. How cute is that? For athleisure days when you're wearing leggings and you're just running errands, I just I think that they're great. So these are only $34.99 on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And so I had to get them in the pink color because <laughs> I love them so much. And then my next shoe favorite that I got, I actually copied my mom. She got these from Mexico too, are these blowfish white shoes. I get asked about white shoes all the time and I found these ones. My mom found these ones, but they have a little bit of a wedge on them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're so cute they have a zipper on the side you can zip your foot up in there but the inside of the print is so cute that's what the front looks like so fun different you can dress these up or dress these down they have the blowfish logo on the back so thought i would show you guys those 
what else any more shoes oh these ones off amazon i'm gonna link these down below these are a uh, tori birch dupe uh glam farmhouse if you follow her on instagram i like her a lot she linked these ones and i really i haven't decided if i like them i think i need to be tan because my feet kind of look like potatoes in them but just another little because i just haven't had the guts to buy tori birch yet uh, but yeah, I found these on Amazon. I wanted to try these and see how I liked the way that they looked on my foot because I do have a wide foot so my foot can kind of come out on the sides a little bit. So good, good little dupe to buy and try them out before I splurge. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Rochelle can't watch this video because if she does, she'll see what I got her because I have hers right here and I have mine. So I thought I would show these in this video. I'm going to tell her she can't watch this video until I ship hers. But I, I bought these originally because I've wanted one forever and I love supporting things like this. But I also wanted to get to Rochelle, one of my best friends, uh, a wedding slash engagement slash bridal gift because I love her to death and she's in Texas. So if you guys are not familiar with this, if you don't watch the Bobby Bones show, this won't make much sense. But I do watch the Bobby Bones show pretty religiously and this is called Espoir and it is, it's a noun, Haiti and Creole meaning hope. Um, it's called the shop forward and this is the meaning behind it. They're the four things totes So you basically it's just a little tote like this and you pick four things and you put it on there And then they actually came out with a little makeup bag type thing So mine says Kaiser TJ Maxx traveling and Moscow mules because those are my favorite things So you pick your four favorite things and there's so many good ones if you go to the page the shop forward and you look at the four things tote people do really good ones so those were the ones i picked for this and then for this one i have the gym youtube nurse life and cold brew and sun because those are some of my favorite things it was hard to narrow it down but i'm going to probably take these to mexico with me it's so easy to fill this up um and put stuff in it but i also got rochelle some so her says benji texas lashes for life and target runs and then her big one says the gym 2020 bride instagram and traveling because those are her those are kind of her things so those were the things for the four things tote that i wanted to share i hope your 2020 is starting out super good i hope that you are having an amazing entrance into spring it's spring forward this sunday so that makes me happy sunlight and warmth just literally changes my mood 100 percent so yeah, I will be having lots of videos coming. It's just been super hard to find chunks of time to sit and edit because I do everything myself and I'm very specific about the way I like my videos edited. So it's just been hard to find that time with everything that's been going on. But hopefully things will get more on track here soon and you guys will see more of my videos. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you give this video a thumbs up, that means the world to me. It lets me know that you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone